Hey, baby, and welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Agrarian Skies. So, as you can see behind me, we've made a lot of progress in between episodes. As you can see, I've put together a little pulverizer area over here. Um, if you remember before, it was it was under here. So I went ahead and built this out a little more and tried to make it as good as I could with the materials I had. And that's when I came to the realization that I need a lot more materials. If I'm going to build things in such a way that I like, you know, like this is as good as I could do because all I have is stone. Um, so all I can do is make stone brick in stone and that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what sort of palette of blocks I have to build stuff. And right now this is it. Um, it's basically stone and wood. Um, we will expound on that later. Where did this torch go? I think it was right here. There we go. We got that lit up again. But as you can see, I'm using this guy. He's he's just grinding down stuff for me. And what I did is I moved my crucibles over here. And I hooked up some item ducts to it. So that it is taking all of this cobble and replacing it and refilling these crucibles whenever it is necessary. So I can now take buckets of, the, buckets of, a, of, of lava out put them right into my lava generator and it works pretty good this way. We want to automate this even further um, and that's what we're probably going to get into in this episode. So yeah, what we want to do is maybe make some liquid ducts coming out of here. Those get emptied into a tank and then the tank reservoir will then empty into these lava generators. Um, we only have one at the moment but we could make more and it would be pretty expandable because we can always expand how many crucibles we have we can always expand how many lava generators we have. So I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, and you know, it actually ties in with one of the quests. So let's take a look in the book and see if we can get that done. Um, I think it was something like, uh, was it here or was it, with, was it with go with the flow? I think it was with go with the flow. Yeah, it was way down here. Number seven is go with the flow. And it seems to have a bunch of quests related to liquids. The very first one, is fluid storage. So what I want to do is make a portable tank. I want to make a tank, and I think this is from open blocks, and a fluid tank. And I think fluid tanks are from marina culture or mariculture. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with mariculture, and it's raining now. Great. Can we hear the rain? Yeah, I think we can hear the rain, but um, it's not bothering us. It seems to be pretty low at the moment. That's good. Oh, that's because I have that rain muffler. Of course, there. Okay, so we got ourselves some glass. Um, I think we need obsidian, which we already have. And we inside, I think we're going to need some copper and stuff too. We're going to look up the recipes here, because this, I think, is where all of my metals are. So let's type in portable tank. Here we go. This should be pretty easy to make. It's just glass with a copper in the middle. Man, that is so easy. Let's make a couple of these. We're going to make at least four. Because the good thing about these portable tanks, of course, is that they are portable. This is a dumb thing I just said. We're going to make four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I hear an Enderman dying outside. I got to tell you guys, this mob grinder that I, I souped up in the last episode is working great. We're going to get to it too, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're making tanks. So let's type in tank. See what it takes to make some of these open block tanks, which I'm less excited about. Oh, it requires glass panes, right? What a pain. There we go. Um, let's see if we can shift click this in. Two is fine. I can't imagine me using these for much. So yeah, um, the next one is a fluid tank and that is glass, wood, and copper. Man, this takes a lot of copper, okay. Um, glass, we do have wood. Okay, so one, two, three, four copper on the edges and one glass in the middle there we go okay we've got all of our tanks cool we can turn this quest in and get some goodies all right 100 percent all the way around we can pick we're picking the reward bag because i don't even know what magnesium dust does so here we go reward bag claim reward awesome let's put these tanks up we'll keep one of the tanks and upgrade it for what we're going to do today so yeah, let's see what these reward bags. We have a basic and a grater. We're gonna open the grater first because we can't wait. And cross your fingers, it's not stupid. Ooh, magnum torch, that is amazing. Okay, I am stoked now. Um, 
you know what I can't use these for now is I can't I'm gonna have to put these somewhere else or it's gonna make my mob grinder not work so okay so that was I got excited for nothing because I can't even use these or my mob grinder will stop working so there's that um let's open the other one Ooh, what do we get oh we got some shrubberies not so good reward I disagree these flowers are great and these guys are great too I like I like that We'll go ahead and throw these in our nature chest here. This is our nature chest, Ric Flair. Woo! And if you guys get that reference, you are you are an old man like I am. Okay, so we got a we got a full heart too. We may as well use it. Nope. There we go. We've got ten lives. All right, let's take a look. Well, actually, let's take a quick sleep and maybe we can make this rain go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again, some other day yes all right go away rain do it get out of my life so um what are we gonna do next let's turn in some more quests let's get those out of the way one of the quests if we look in the old book here let's see here go to learning skyblock it's in here it's this one casting call so let's take a look here it wants us to make an ingot cast and a pickhead cast easy stuff i love it um let's get ourselves an ingot we we'll have to go back inside because that's where we keep them. Uh, I think an iron ingot will do. Okay. I went ahead and made myself some aluminum brass, which you have to make the casts out of. You can also make them out of gold, but why waste gold? I have eight ingots of aluminum brass. As you can see, I used all the, all the uh, stones that I got from turning in that last quest into building this thing. So it works pretty good. There we go. All right, so this should be one of them. I don't know how much we're gonna use this uh, Tinker's Construct Smeltery because, um, I don't know. So far, it doesn't seem to be too useful. We don't have a lot of cool materials to make stuff out of, and we're gonna make a pickaxe head right here. This will be just used as the cast, and then we'll probably throw it over the edge. And there we go, we've got that. All right, let's pick this up and let's throw this into hell. Go to hell, stone pickaxe head. Goodbye. All right, so that should be done now. Let's check it out. Boom. Claim reward. We can get a liquid slime bucket. Boring. Safari net. Weird. Um, we're getting an enchanted boat out of it, which is stupid. And we're getting a full guard cast. I can make this myself. I don't, I don't need this. Okay, let's just do the reward bag and cross our fingers that it's amazing. Um, I, I put some of these uh, drying racks up, and that's where we're going to put our casts. I don't know how much we're going to use them, like I said, but who knows? Might use them eventually. So yeah, let's open this basic reward bag and hope that it's amazing. What'd we get? Corn? That's pretty... I guess that's useful. Um, throw it upstairs in the chest full of food. Um, food is no longer an issue for me anymore. As you, can see, as you guys can see, uh, I'm letting everything grow to fruition up here. And I'm even growing wheat for some goddamn reason. I'm not sure why, but we'll throw our corn seeds in here. Actually, let's plant them. Screw it. We're gonna do a row of corn. This will be a proper farm now. Yeehaw. All right, let's just get all this wheat up. We don't need wheat for like anything other than breeding my cows. So corn, corn, corn. We'll at least see what this looks like. And maybe we can make some, uh, some poppy corn. Some pop, <laughs> uh, well, I'm out of corn seeds. There we go. All right, two wheat, that's fine. Cool, so that's done. I have a Feather Falling 5 boat. I can tell you exactly what I'm gonna do with this. I hope the Feather Falling works well with it because it's going over the edge, go to hell. I know I can use an anvil to combine that with something, but who gives a damn, right? Um, uh, why are they playing games with me? <laughs> uh, I'm so bitter with this game. Okay, so we got some quests turned in, we got some good stuff done, and now, I want to show you guys how well this mob grinder is working. As you can see, mobs are dying left and right. This thing is working great. Look at this. Look how many ender pearls I have now. And I've got so many bones and these stupid bows that I have nothing to do with. But the, the main thing I'm excited about is the rotten flesh. Look at all this delicious rotten flesh. Okay, so we want to put this rotten flesh to good use. And I have a chest here full of stuff that is ready to be used. So let's get to it. I want to find a way... And by find a way, I already know the way. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make a dirt maker out of this mob farm. It's going to create dirt for me, 
and these two sweet puppies here who spawned in my uh, my passive mob spawner over there. Oh shoot! Goodbye, torch. Goodbye, torch. Um, yeah, so I I got me two puppies. I don't know what good they are, but they they sure are cute, and they like to uh, they like to sit here and watch these mobs die. So that being said, let's put some item ducks here. And we want them to go up here, because we're going to put the barrel. And we might actually expand this into several barrels. Um, I don't have any more hoppers, so we're just going to use the one barrel now. But we could easily expand it into multiple barrels. So, let's see here. I've got my pneumatic servo. Where is my wrench? Didn't I have a wrench? Did I put my wrench up? Oh shoot, did I throw my wrench over the edge by accident? <gasps> Where's my wrench? Is it in here? All right, let's make another wrench. I, I might have accidentally thrown it over the edge. It seems to have disappeared on me. That's fine. Wrenches are easily made. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> no panicking. <sighs> okay, there we go. We got a crescent hammer back. I call it a wrench because it looks like a damn wrench. All right, so we're going to turn this off, this off, and this off. And then what I'm going to do is put this pneumatic servo here, click it on, and let's grab ourselves a zombie flesh. You know what else would be good here is let's grab some carrots from up here because we can actually... We got so many carrots now, as you can see, we've just got carrots galore. Um, and we, when we have extra carrots like this, we can dump them into this chest and they will be composted as well. So let's put that stuff oh wait i need an empty paw right there we go did i just call my hand a paw i sure did all right so we're blacklisting that but we want to whitelist it is there anything else in here that's compostable i know occasionally these zombies drop potatoes but i don't see any so i'm not too worried about it all right so we want it to go that way and then we want it to auto pull right so we do that and now it should be pulling items out of this chest and they move kind of slowly in these item ducts but eventually the stuff will start filling up this barrel oh there it goes so cool so this will slowly compost these items into dirt and the dirt will be collected here oh wait here's my crescent hammer what the heck just happened there I guess I just spazzed out and threw it in there so what would be a good thing to do is probably put a few more barrels here and make ourselves even more hoppers um, let's see if I have any trunks laying around. If not, we'll just make more trunks. Yep, we'll just make some more chests here. I only need two, I think. One, two. Cool. And if we have iron, I have one ingot on myself. Um, let's just go ahead and make ourselves two more hoppers. I know there's probably a cheaper way to do this, but I like hoppers so much I don't even care. Hoppers are one of the best game mechanics in Minecraft and they're not even modded they come with the game they come with the actual game isn't that crazy all right so what these hoppers are gonna do is when this finally turns into dirt the hoppers pull it out and throw it in here so we're gonna have three more that do exactly the same thing because I think we're gonna have a backlog of stuff at least at the start anyway so cool we've got our a little dirt collector here and it's got one whole dirt in it and it's going to slowly empty out these uh, this zombie flesh. So we can also throw a couple stacks of carrots in here. We can get these bows out of here because who gives a damn? Like, what the heck do I need bows for? Get out of my life! Okay, so that's done. We've got a, Now we have an automated dirt maker. Making that dirt. Cool. And it'll use up these carrots too, which are extra from the farm. Nice. Um, I see that I'm about to die. And by die, I'm halfway to health here. So let's get to eating. And let's see what else we might want to do this episode. Getting things done. Turning stuff in. Um, did I show you this? This is my cobblestone maker. I hooked up one of these Jabba barrels to it. It's going great. And over here, and this is a very, very simple system. It actually runs on lava buckets. But I still think this is one of the more efficient ways, especially when you have this uh, this thing over here creating lava for you nonstop, of smelting a bunch of things. 
And lava, I think, does like 100 items or so. So that is super cool. That's that's what I want. I'm going to keep one lava bucket on me just so I can do this every once in a while. Keep that going. Cool. And as you can see, I'm smelting up stone here. I made myself some extra crucibles so that I can expand that thing over there. Oh my god, this is going so well. Oh my goodness. Let's see what other quests we might have to do. Oh, look at this. It's automatic. So I can finally do this one. This one is... Oh, we got to make ourselves an aqueous accumulator, an autonomous activator, and a vacuum hopper. This is easy stuff. And we're going to get a reward bag out of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Something we have been trying, wanting to make for a while to help us automate sifting stuff is an autonomous activator. We're going to take this sieve up and... I don't actually... I, I know the new recipe here in... Uh, what do you, here in this mod pack in Agrarian Skies requires you to have diamonds and emeralds to make an autonomous activator which is crazy face Magoo but let's do it anyway autonomous activator it requires a piston two invar nuggets a pneumatic servo two emeralds and two diamonds this son of a son of a gun and I almost cut I almost cursed right there this son of a gun is so expensive so we're gonna throw this in here. We got that. We probably need cobble. Hopefully I have some laying around. Ah, I already have some in my inventory. Never mind. Um, we need some wood. So we're gonna turn this rubber wood into jungle wood. So we have that. Let's get this piston made. Let's make four of them. Okie dokie. Um, let's get this pneumatic servo made. We're probably going to need two, so let's make two. Um, what was the other bits? We need a chest. One, two. Okay. And what else do we need? I think that's it. Can we shift-click this in? Here we go. Autonomous activator. We're only going to make one right now. Actually, I can't help myself for making two. Okay, so we made two of those. Um, let's see if we have any more glass around. Good. We do. We could put this up. We could put that up. Um... So the next thing would be to make an aqueous accumulator. I needed one of these anyway to help with my igneous extruder. But machine frame requires glass and iron. We have iron on us. We can consolidate there. All right, one machine frame, please. Actually, let's make the pneumatic servo. We may as well make two of these too, right? Uh, this one, one, two. Okay, what next? Uh, we need a bucket. I think we have a bucket. And we need tin. Do I have tin on me? I don't think I do. We could put this back up. We could actually put the invar back up too. And we'll grab ourselves some tin. It looks like this. Okay, can we put this in? No, what do we need? We need bucket. Maybe buckets aren't stackable? Or it thinks they aren't? I don't know. What, am I, what else am I missing? Tin, glass. Oh, I'm out of glass. Jeez Louise. Do I need to make glass? Oh heavens, I might be out of glass. Oh dear. Oh dear me. All right, let's look around and see if I can find some glass. Maybe, maybe there's some in here. Nope. All right, do we have sand in here? We do. All right, let's make some, let's make some, let's make some sand. <laughs> no, not sand, let's make some glass. There we go, make that glass, baby. So cool, what are we trying to make? We're trying to make an autonomous act. What are we? Do we have the bit? Oh, we just need two pieces of glass. So we can get that done. Vacuum hopper. That's what we want to make. We can make that while the glass is being made. I know what we need for a glass or a vacuum hopper is an emerald pearl. An ender pearl, not an emerald pearl. Um, we only need one, so we'll throw the rest up here. We need a piece of obsidian. We have that. And we need... I need some more wood to make a chest. I can't believe I'm out of wood. Boop. Let's go over here. I've been trying to move more and more stuff out here. So all of my wood is over here now, which is a little, which is a little, it's a little flustery. I gotta move out of this little house. This little house is slowing me down, man. I need like a big factory to build amazing things in. Here we go. One chest and. Do, 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 do. So we take a regular hopper, 
combine that with one piece of obsidian and one ender pearl, and you've got a vacuum hopper. Cool. So let's go get our glass, and we can finish this up and make that aqueous accumulator. I think we can even make two of them. Alrighty. Actually, while we're here, can I just shift click this in? Yep. All right, we got one. That's fine. So the next thing I want to do... Oh, well, let's turn in this quest first before we get sidetracked. Boom. We got it. Let's get this reward bag. Claim it. And let's see what goodies we have. We're going to just put some of this stuff up because it's just in our inventory. Here's our reward bag. Cross your fingers. Hope for good things. What the heck is a sto This is garbage. This is... Ah! <laughs> this is absolute... I am flabbergasted by how bad this is. It's a wooden sword. Hey, wooden sword, here you go. See you in hell. Very nice. Is this what I do with all my reward bags? I just throw them into the pit. All right, so we've got our stuff here. Um, we were actually going to try and make a little system here real quick for filtering... For sifting, not filtering, for sifting gravel or sand or whatever we put in here but I think we're gonna need at least a couple of chests and probably a hopper so let's make three chests we're gonna convert one of these into a hopper and see if we can kind of get this going here real quick this will just be a very simple design but we can we can expound on it later make it amazing so let's just do it right here right here wide in the op wide open all right so we've got our oak sieve, we put it there. We're gonna surround it by autonomous activators, like this, and they are gonna be constantly clicking on it, which is great because um, that is the only way you can get an oak sieve to work. All right, which way is it pointing? That way, come this way. All right, let's see if, there we go. I think it's facing the right way now. So then what I wanna do is put a hopper here onto the back of it and then take some of my items like this so we've got a thing of gravel if we put it in here hmm I assume that that would put it in there but maybe it works from a certain side does it have to be the top maybe it has to be the top let's try that that would only make sense right let's try it from the top like that okay and if I put gravel in here does it go in huh that is bizarre how about the bottom we're gonna have to do some experiments but i i assumed a hopper would work on this i assumed wrong okay let's put this like this and we're gonna put that down there and let's try putting this we're gonna try and put it from the bottom maybe maybe it can only come in from the bottom no, it doesn't go in from any way. Does anything connect to this? Ha! Huh. Maybe you have to use one of the autonomous activators to put it in. Does that sound crazy? I think that might sound crazy, but I'm going to go for that. I think that might be the only way to do it. Because nothing wants to pipe into it. So we'll put that there. And maybe if we stick the gravel right in here. Yep, that's doing it. Okay, so we, we can't use... Well, actually, we can use the hopper. We can do it like this. Boop. And we'll set the configuration like so. I guess that'll work. It's already starting to make stuff, but the next thing we want to do is put this chest here and a vacuum hopper right next to it. And we'll click on the vacuum hopper. We'll set the import for this side. Nope. This side. <laughs> there we go. And that way, everything should be going into here. Oh, man, look at this. This is working great. So I can put the ones that I already have in here. And we can upgrade this to an iron chest pretty quickly, too, if we think it's going to run out of room. So let's do that now. And we've got our first little bit of an automation here. We can also surround this by more autonomous activators. And yeah, cool, lots of room. 
Let's do this real quick. Um, actually, we could jump up on this chest here. Boom. Um, I don't think we'll need a ton of room, but it'd be good to have it. Oh, screw it. Come on, come on. I'm holding down shift. There we go. We got it. We got it. All right, let's throw all the gravel we have in here. That way, it's just constantly sifting. And if we make two more autonomous activators, I think we can get this thing running at full efficiency because they'll all be clicking on it. Look at that, guys. Automated sifting. That's pretty compact, too. I think I'll definitely leave that. We'll put a... Put a put a thing down <laughs> for no reason. So cool beans. I'm assuming that this one's working. You know what I mean? Like I'm assuming that this one is definitely clicking. It's not sneaking. But uh, let me know in the comments if this one is also adding to how fast this is working. I think it is, but I'm not positive. I should do some research. But it totally to me looks like it's awesome and working. So cool, guys. I think that's a good wrap it up spot. We got a lot done this episode. We got our automated sifting. We've got some automated dirt over here. We got ourselves some magnum torches we can't use or it'll turn off our stuff. Look at that, 31 dirt already. That is amazing. Wow, wow. <laughs> so guys, as always, I wanna thank each and every one of you handsome and gorgeous people for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, give it a big old thumbs up. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Bye.